Well, hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I will talk about New York University, commonly known as NYU. And I'm sure you all must have heard this because it's a very popular university. NYU is an amazing university that was founded in 1831. It's a private research university which happens to be the favorite for a lot of students. Let's try to understand it a little bit better for more insight into its working. Hi, I'm Shirish Gupta and I empower people to hack their success, rise above the challenges and confidently create an extraordinary life they deserve. NYU is located in the city. Yes, the New York City. It's the hub for all that is exciting and new in the world, which means good jobs and great opportunities. And it's one of the most densely populated cities in the United States, which means competitive. The city is full of places to be, be it Times Squares, Brooklyn Bridge, Statue of Liberty, Central Park, and so many other places. The university is located in Manhattan, middle of the city. NYU has campuses and centers throughout the city, but is primarily situated on Washington Square. Academic buildings are both modern and historic blend with 19th century brick townhouse surrounding Washington Square Park. Other than this, NYU has two other campuses, one in Abu Dhabi and other one in Shanghai. NYU has more than 600 student clubs, plus areas for a frequent recruitment fairs and lectures from national and international leaders. It also holds the Skirball Center for the Performing Arts, 860-seat theater, which is the largest performing arts facility south of 42nd Street. The most popular majors at NYU include business, economics, nursing, theater, dance, film, and television, foreign languages, accounting. Again, like I always say, it's my duty to emphasize on the fact that ranking should never be the sole selection criteria for any college on your list. NYU is still comfortably in the top 20% of the colleges in the US as well as in the world. All across major ranking services providers as QS News, US News. Let's move on to the next section, talking about the right fit. Now the next section we try to decode is the personality of the university and try to put in all the factors together for you to decide whether it will be a right fit for you or not. Let's talk about what exactly is a good fit university first. A good college fit is when a college meets your needs and wants academically, socially and financially. And today we will cover all these three fits for NYU and whether this particular university will be a good fit for you or not. So let's begin with the first one, the academic fit. NYU is mostly known for its business programs and arts and design programs. The academic environment here is definitely rigorous, but you will get every resource required to accomplish everything you want. Regardless of major, everyone is very focused on career preparation. It's never enough to just concentrate on your classes. It's hard to avoid the pressure here at NYU. The class size of NYU is surprisingly small, but such big university. Faculty members are really great and well-known professors. Students testify that the professors are accessible and willing to help students succeed. The NYU library is accommodating. It's one of the largest open stack facility in the country with millions of volumes. Although the student faculty ratio at NYU is impressive 10 is to one, and as mentioned earlier, 59% of classes taken by undergraduates are fewer than 20 students. So it's mostly really small class size. Under the core college curriculum, freshmen and sophomores do take up courses including foreign languages, expository writing, foundation of contemporary culture, and foundation of scientific inquiry. The language they offer go beyond the typical Spanish, French. NYU has courses in Arabic, Cantonese, Hindi, modern Irish, Swahil. And on top of all this, NYU operates a language exchange program with Columbia University as well. The Tisch School of Arts is a well-known for producing famous actors and directors, and students there right now are also winners of many National Student Filmmaker Awards. Tisch also boasts excellent design, animation, game design, drama, dance, photography, and television departments. And it's not uncommon to see students who haven't yet finished BFA degrees performing in Broadway shows. Yes, that's the power of NYU. So keeping all this in mind, I will rate NYU with five stars on academic difficulty level, where five is the highest level. After academic fit, let's move to social fit. NYU's rise has been breathtaking. You'll be studying and coming alive in the most eclectic and energizing neighborhoods in the New York City. You'll gain both street and book smarts. A mesmerizing combination of amazing location and strong academics make NYU irresistible. NYU has about 41,000 students with around 25,000 undergrad and the remaining PG and PSD students. 57% of the students here are out of the state and 27% are international, which make one of the most diverse universities. The housing at NYU is awesome and guaranteed for all four years for undergrads. 
Most rooms have private baths and are larger, cleaner, newer, and better equipped than many city apartments, enticing 48% of students to stay on campus. Amenities include central air conditioning, computer centers, music practice rooms, kitchens, and even in some buildings, small theaters. Yes. The dining halls offer extensive choices. Anything you can imagine from wraps to sushi to a dedicated kosher eatery. The dining halls really try to accommodate everyone, of course. Downtown's area of ethnic restaurants also offer a variety of food at cheap prices. When it comes to sports, NYU doesn't have to offer too much. Sports have never been NYU's strength. Golf, swimming, and wrestling are probably only dedicated Division III sports. Roughly one-third of the undergraduates are involved in sports. The Palladium Athletic Facility boasts a big swimming pool with a 30-foot-high indoor climbing wall. NYU offers a balance between academics and social activities, and I would give it three stars out of five on the quality of life at NYU. Now let's look at the financial fit. New York City is an expensive city, so naturally education and living will be expensive here. The tuition cost is about $60,000 to $80,000, including living with room and board is about $20,000. So it surely lies in the expensive school category. When it comes to scholarship and financial aids, they are available for students, although most need-based, but merit-based scholarships up to 8,000 can be availed as well. So overall, I will rate one star on financial fit, one being expensive school. After exploring the fit, let's move to the most curious section on how to get into NYU. Before I decode that for you, let's look at some of the facts. At NYU, if applying for their popular programs, they can be highly selective. You can end up facing a huge competition, which places it into dream school or reach schools for most students. Last year's overall acceptance rate was 16.2%. Yes, it's still pretty low. With this level of competitiveness, NYU is sure to expect new enrollments from students, top of their academic game, and much more. More like top 15 to top 20% of the application pool. So if you feel you fit the academic, financial, and social profile of NYU student, this might be the perfect school for you. NYU is full of really talented students. So when they are evaluating, they try to find rare and diverse talents across the globe to make it even more culturally colorful. So make sure while drafting an application for NYU, you must highlight the major developments in your profile that showcases you in the game. Take your test in advance and be ready to work hard on your application essays. Super important. Consistent with this reputation, NYU is always looking for fresh talent and their classes are mostly 19-20% to 20 international students, so you have a very good chance of making it one of the NYU's classroom. Well, these ideas are not available anywhere, it comes directly from my decade-long experience working with students for career and college admission, so just get ready. For admission to NYU, remember the word creativity. They love it. You must participate in activities to showcase or build your creative side. Also, NYU likes you to have intellectual and cultural experiences. So start preparing early, concentrating more on your overall profile rather than just academics. Sure, academics are important, but one or two other highlights in your profile will help you a long way. Your career has to start before you enter the college so that using their resources, you can flourish there further and keep up with the pace of the city. So if you choose NYU to be one of your schools, there are two deadlines for undergrad applications and program specific one or multiple for PGs. Being a private school, NYU only has early decision available for undergraduates in early deadlines. My advice, if NYU is something you're seriously considering, apply early. Choose early decision for financial aid offers too. If not, and just another option for you in your list, regular decision, which is usually January 1st, is also fine. In the end, to conclude, if you're focused, career-driven, high-achieving, cosmopolitan, independent, self-driven, confident, and able to manage academics, part-time jobs, and internships while having active social lives, you're in for a treat. So that's it for NYU today. Thank you for watching the video. I would really like you to subscribe to the channel and press that bell icon so you get notified of the new videos whenever they come. And also, you can watch the other college-related videos right up here on my channel. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.